going to be my first day before an Ironman, yeah. first time I do it, so I'm um, pretty much resting, I mean, uh, all the work is done, so I um, just hope to relax, get everything ready, check my bike in, the transition bags and uh, a bit of light training just to, you know, start to sweat a little bit and then stop and save my legs for uh, Sunday, which is going to be a long day. Well, the whole season, you know, I have two main goals this year. One of them, it's this one. More, more than a big goal, it's like a test for the big goal, which is going to be Kona in a few months. So, um, but obviously, I've trained hard for this race. I want to do a proper test and, and see um, how I can um, perform an, an Ironman race in tough conditions against some of the best uh, athletes in the world. So, no, nah, not really. I'm here to race, and I mean, it's the first one, so uh, I. I can't say a time or anything, it depends on the conditions a lot, it's quite windy, so um, yeah, I just want to be competitive against the other guys, you know, which are very experienced and, and great champions, I mean, with lots of uh, Ironman wins behind them, so um, I just hope to be competitive with them, have a good race, don't make too many mistakes and uh, try to learn for future races. Um, just getting out of my comfort zone, probably, um, and try to prove myself that I can do well in long distance, not only short distance, which I proved many times, but um, in long distance is a different thing. Uh, it's exciting to race different rivals as well. Not always, you know, the Brownlees, Mario, uh, Richard Mario, these guys. I race them a lot, so it's good to, to uh, have some different competitors. Um, just over 200k, like 207 and 210 another day. Yeah, yeah, well, it's different. I mean, competition is always different, and uh, you have to run a full marathon after that. So. No, I've never run a marathon before. My furthest run is 34K. I, I've done a few over 30, like between 30 and 34. That, that would be my long run. Um, but yeah, never longer than that. So um, yeah, it's going to be challenging. And um, yeah, uh, I have a lot of respect to that. <laughs> well, fear, not really fear, but I, you know, all the nutrition and the hydration, is, I know how important it is. I know that's probably the key of having a good race that you can keep your energy levels you know always always high which is very difficult because you have to eat and drink a lot and, and you're racing and your body doesn't want it sometimes but uh, I've trained for it as well and I hope I can I can do it well during the race so that's my main concern and obviously the rivals but it's such a long race that you have to have your own pace I mean a bit regardless of what they do you have to do your own race and try to do the, the best you're capable of yeah, well, it has always been on my mind, you know, since I'm a triathlete. I always knew that at some point I wanted to do long distance, you know. I am a big fan of watching Kona and, you know, Ironman guys competing the best races in the world. So I knew I wanted to do it at some point. I just couldn't find the time, really. I was to focus on ITU, Olympics and all that stuff. And I thought this was, would be a good year to try it. So I, um, I decided to do it and give it a, give it a try. Yeah, no, the, the plan is try to go in advance to Kona and just try to get familiar with the course, with the, um, uh, you know, with the weather and the conditions, the wind, and, and basically train on the course. I'm a rookie there, so it would be good to spend some time there. Probably, I don't know if it's the best advice, but one that I, I was given a lot was like, be patient. It's such a long day, and uh, I think it was Ben Hoffman, he said, you, you know, the first hour doesn't really matter and actually the first five hours there's nothing, you know, interesting going on really. So I have to be patient and obviously the last three, four hours of the race are going to be crucial and having energy and it's, it's where, where they say the real, start, the real race starts. So um, yeah, I, I have to be patient. Well, I think it was a, a good date. I wanted to race in June and, and then have a break and then prepare for Kona and that's I don't have experience in Ironman. I want to do something cl as close to Kona as possible, which is it's still a different race, but it's quite warm, it's humid, it's windy. Uh, it's pretty much like a flat course. Probably a course like Nice, for example, would suit me better, but in the end of the day, if, you, if I want to perform well in Kona, I want to, to, to do a race 
kind of similar, so that's why I decided to come here. I wish you all the best of luck, have fun, enjoy it and go hard. <laughs>